my friends, today I am in Paris, France. Andres and I just got finished with a five hour visit to the Louvre. Our feet hurt, but it's all good because Paris is the land of macarons and we are ready for one right now. So I figured, why not bring you guys along every time I have a macaron? So today we're gonna go to Pierre Hermé. Throughout the month, we're gonna try different places and I wanna bring you guys along. I got my little four pack of macarons, the rose lychee, a citron there, which I imagine is, might be lime, a Madagascar vanilla, and this is framboise raspberry. I wanted to get some of their signature flavors and kind of ones that I favorite, like the rose one. Let's try the vanilla bean first. Since this is like the purest flavor, let's go with that one. <laughs> Delicious. Vanilla. A, una ya algo de... a lot more cookie in the texture of the macaroon shell. This is the rose lychee. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I really like rose flavored stuff. It's not too strong. The lychee gives it more of a, a berry flavor than just straight rose. That's a nice combination. Okay, let's do the citron there. Mmm, yum. It is lime. It tastes like a lime sorbet. Very refreshing. This is one of their, their flavors of like the season right now. And then a classic raspberry. Oh, I see a little bit of the raspberry jam sticking out. That's good. This macaroon's a little bit overcooked. I can taste a little bit of the browning from the almond flour, but it's still very good. So that was Pierre Hermé. This is one of the top um, macaroon places, most famous macaroon places, sorry, macaron places in Paris. A macaroon is something totally different. <laughs> that was Pierre Hermé. <laughs> So we're here now at Carrette and this is a restaurant slash macaroon pastry shop and it is just off the Trocadero metro exit and you can come in and either grab a table for service or you can come straight up to the pastry case and order your macarons. I love the look of these macarons. They're bright, bold colors and they have large ones and they also have the smaller mini macaron, which is what we're gonna try today. Two flavors I wanna try are black currant and salted caramel. Let's start with the caramel first. First of all, look at this color. This beautiful golden, orange I love that and then you have your caramel in there Ooh! oh wow it's so soft Woo. yeah I love that texture let's try it mmm mmm oh that is delicious mmm wow so much flavor. As soon as you bite in, you get the pop of caramel, which is what I'm always looking for. I wanna taste the flavor instantly of whatever that macaron is. This is delicious. The outside is perfectly crispy, and then the cookie, the almond cookie portion, is nice and soft because they keep them at room temperature, and your teeth just go right to it, right down to the center where the caramel is. I love this macaron. Carrette is actually really close to the Eiffel Tower and as I was trying the caramel, I saw in the corner of my eye the top of the Eiffel Tower. So let's go over there to try the black currant one. Quick little note, we've been to several points of where you can see the Eiffel Tower and by far Trocadero is the best. You're kind of like elevated so you're looking at it almost like at eye level. All right, back to business. Here we have this lovely black currant or cassis uh, macaron and it is this beautiful plum purple color which represents the fruit itself. 
So I can't wait to try this. This is one that I always used to see when I worked at a French bistro um, like 10 years ago. And I always used to see the French pastry chefs making these and I was like, oh my God, they're so good. So let's try it here in Paris. Oh man, wow, that is so good. Oh. It tastes like a, you ever had a now and later candy? It tastes like now and laters. Oh. It's this tart, berry, oof, it like pinches my cheeks. This is so good. It's much more tart than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be way, way on the sweet side. But this is just a beautiful balance of tart and berry flavors. And look how just soft and creamy the middle of this is. You can see the cookie in there and they put a really good amount of the filling so you can really get that hit of, of, uh, of fresh dark berries and the tartness. This is so good. Mm. La Durie, the location on the Champs Elysees, and I have to say, it is gorgeous inside of that space, and it's very well organized. They have the line, everything set together, so it's a really good spot to stop into. So we got the grapefruit and the bitter almond. Almond amel is this one, and this is the pamplemousse or grapefruit. The coloring is beautiful on this grapefruit. They have some really beautiful jewel tone shades. First observations are not as full as other macarons we've tried, but I really do like how it, it appears that there's a powdered maybe grapefruit zest or something that's kind of baked into the macaron, uh, which I really appreciate a little bit more of a effervescence of flavor. So we'll see if that, if that adds anything to it. Yummy. Okay, so this has a little bit more of a um, ooh, raw almond flavor, raw almond essence to it. I guess that's where the bitter almond um, name is coming from. So, of course, macarons are made with almond flour already, but this just has a heightened flavor of that almond. It has a nice break to it when you bite into it. You have the nice, like, glossy shell on top, and it does keep its structure pretty well, which is nice. It's not falling apart. That tastes really good. Let's try the other one. This is the grapefruit. Mm. It has more of a um, candied grapefruit flavor. So it is sweet, not very tart. As if you were having the uh, candied grapefruit skins, the citron that you see in France a lot. This has a nice flavor to it. it I feel like it's very true to what the description is and it's not very tart. Um, it's very nice, it's pleasant. I think I really like these. These are, these are really good macaroons. They hold their, their, their shape. They have a good bite to them when you know you take your first bite in. The shells are nice and sturdy, but it does have a nice softness in the middle. Um, yeah, that was, those are fun. these are fun macaroons. I like them, and I still actually uh, the essence of the grapefruit in my mouth right now. It's actually even a little bit numbing. If you just got like the zest of a grapefruit, you know it can be a little bit bitter or something, and it kind of leaves that flavor in your mouth. 
or a little bit of numbing on your tongue on the sides. That's a little bit of what I'm getting. I think that adds to the overall flavor that creates grapefruit flavor when you're eating it. So those are all, I think, just good attributes that contribute to the trueness of a flavor. Overall, um, I really, really like this place because there's so many lauderies around France. My initial reaction is, oh, it's a chain. It's probably not very good. The quality's gone down maybe, but this is very, very good macaroons. I said this one's on Champs-Elysees, so they could change from location to location, but I think they're really doing a great job at holding up their quality and um, and still giving you a great product despite how big of a company it is and how famous they are. All right, so we're having a macaron at Jean-Paul Evan, and this is right next door to the Marché des Enfants Rouge, which you probably will see the video of that. You should definitely check it out. It's a great, great seafood lunch that we had. But right now we're gonna have a macaron, and we're trying the pistachio and a chocolate macaron. Look how lovely these are. Many of their macarons come in a two-tone. For example, this pistachio comes also in green and the brown. First observation, it's definitely got a nice amount of ganache in the center here. It's got a very nice structured glossy shell on the outside. And then you have your full ganache inside the cookie here. Mm. Wow, the ganache is like butter. It melts instantly. Mm. And then you're just left with a little bit of the crunchiness from the crust of the cookies. Mm. But even the almond flavor is not overly present here. You really get a good, good taste of the ganache. Let's try the pistachio. I did notice that a lot of their macarons kind of look like their chocolate interior, so it appears as though many of their macarons are chocolate with whatever flavor. Chocolate, pistachio, chocolate, passion fruit, etc, etc. So let's try this one. Mm. Mm. It's very good, but I'm not getting as much pistachio as I would like in there. I think it's because it's got a lot of uh, that chocolatiness to it. It tastes like chocolate then pistachio, not just pistachio. Still good, a little bit sweet for me, <clears throat> but it does have a nice amount of filling where you can really bite into it and get a chewy cookie out of it. Overall, I would say these are good. Not my favorite thus far, but they're still good. And if you are at Marché des Enfants, it's definitely worth stopping by and grabbing some on your way out. shop Christophe Rousseau in the Montmartre neighborhood. I wanted to try the apricot and lavender and their cherry macarons. Based on first observations, these are so nice and full. Look at these. Really, really good amount of filling in there. This is the cherry, this is the apricot lavender, and it's just almost spilling out. The macarons themselves have some nice structure to the shells, a good foot that comes out around the edge. Let's try this. I think I'm gonna go with cherry first. Mm, super soft. Oh wow. Mm, look how beautiful it looks in there. This deep fuchsia color with the chocolate cherry filling in there. That's so soft and just a great bite when I bit into this. Mm. It is definitely a cherry ganache but the chocolate is very light. It's like not too heavy of a chocolate, 
and it's kind of cold. It's almost like a cherry cordial, something like that. I always prefer for it to be like all cherry, all cherry jam. That's just my personal preference. The texture as you're biting into it, the ganache uh, temperature, consistency, the viscosity of the ganache is really, really nice. It's a very pleasant bite into there. Even though it's holding its structure really well, it's still very nice, soft bite when you get into it. The next one is a apricot and lavender. So you have this purple and then you have that beautiful orange from apricot in there. Good. Mmm. This is what I'm talking about. I love this. Apricot and lavender. I get the apricot jam. And then it's just infused with the lavender flavor. Not too much where it's soapy. It's just a really, really nice compliment to apricot. I've never really had those two flavors paired together before, but they really, really go well together. Mmm. I love that. And like I said about the, the cherry macaron, it's got that nice bite and then it gets soft in there. So I like the consistency of the macarons, even though they're different flavors, you're getting the same experience. So this is really nice. I really enjoyed this one. All right, so honestly, these are right up there with the macarons we had at Carette. And I mean, they're like basically neck and neck. These are less expensive than the ones at Carette. Um, and they're a little bit bigger. Alrighty friends, so that's gonna conclude our macaron tour. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gave you a kind of an idea or some ideas of places to go when you come visit Paris. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to support our channel and we can't wait to keep making these for you. We'll see you on the next one.